Hi everyone, this is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless collective love reading. This is for any sign. If you found this reading, welcome. And any sign that you may be thinking of, your person can be any sign. Let's see what spirit has for you in the cards today. This is a general love reading. So take with you what connects to you. Leave the rest for everybody else. Please use these readings to manifest a love that you are worthy of and deserving of or to confirm a love that's come into your life. Welcome back, everybody. Let's see what Spirit has. Spirit, please share with me any loving messages. I am listening for you now. Let's see what we have. I have the royal you. I love that. Look at this. Look at this big, beautiful crown. Okay, so... Maybe this person sees you as a king, as a queen, and um, I'm going to say they treat you like royal royalty. How about that? You know, just this feeling of um, that I know that you're the person that I want to be with, and I'm going to treat you right. You know, just this, I'm going to treat you right. How beautiful. My I met my king, I met my queen, a close encounters, the number 10, the number 16. This is coming into me as setting yourself free. There's a little bit of a feeling of, I have been, um, you could be, I don't want to use the word trapped because we're never trapped, but maybe there was a situation that you found yourself in and it just took you longer to get out of because of the circumstances or because it was very difficult to get back out on your own or to get a home or housing or finances, something like that. But it is a feeling of that you're never trapped and you're setting yourself free. Um, so maybe it's just you did it. You know, you got from where you were to where you needed to be. Um, and then it's also a feeling of this feeling of we almost met, our paths have almost met. So I do believe that. I, I feel like there's times where the person you're supposed to be with was where you were um, at a different time. Your paths have crossed, you know, but you didn't meet at that moment. Um, so I do feel like there's episodes of that have, that happen around you. But right now I feel like something has set you free and what, where, however far it took from, from where you were to where you are today, you did it is how I feel. A great big love. Look at this. I want a great big love spirit. The number 26. I don't want it to be a little love. <laughs> I want it to be a great big love. Welcome back, everybody. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button, everybody. And uh, those likes really do help our channels here on YouTube. So uh, hit those as a way of saying thank you. Spirit, tell me about this great big love. I have to know what you have for me. I want to know who's treating me like royalty. I am listening for you now. I have a four of pentacles. I have a lover's card. Beautiful. I have a five of cups. And I have an Ace of Swords. So a couple things came into me. First, this feeling of I've been guarding myself because I've been disappointed in the past. I, I will say that. I, I, I think that that's, that happens to a lot of us. Um, and it, you could even say that to your person, that I, I, it takes me a little while to open up or... I'm just, I just have such a hard time letting somebody in just because somebody disappointed me so badly in the past. Now I do, you guys know I love bridges and you know that I am seeing this one in the background. So there's a part of me that says I'm crossing over this bridge to this beautiful castle. And it could be as soon as I cross over this, this could be my new home. It could be um, I'm working my way towards this new home and I'm only thinking about these two cups that are standing. I'm going to let whatever isn't serving me from the past go and I'm going to trust. I'm going to I'm going to allow myself to be open. Now, one thing I remember about the four of pentacles and it just came to me. It's interesting. I, I mean, I've been studying tarot cards for 
15 years. I forgot this because it's the pentacles are under their feet initially. And it's like a grounded feeling. I need to feel grounded in sense of security. I need to know it's around my, my heart. I need to know that, that everything's going to be okay. And I'm, I'm going to be taken care of. And then it's a pentacle kind of coming into that crown chakra along the lines of, I need to, um, I just need to believe. So you can see that I'm working on all of these different things with the sense of security. And I, I kind of forgot about that. Like just the placement of the pentacles has meaning as well. So I have this beautiful lover's card and I have this ace of swords. I love the sense of truth. I love the sense of being. I love the sense of we can do this together. Um, there's also this kind of magical energy with almost a, like an Adam and Eve energy coming into me of um, biting the forbidden fruit. And I'm not sure if you feel like you shouldn't be with this person or if you um, feel like it's magical, but there's a little bit of a um, should I or shouldn't I um, energy coming in. And it could be just that you are having a difficult time starting or you want to make sure you want to make sure this is the one before you start. And that's not how it works. You got to start. You got to get to know them. And then you make sure that this is somebody you want to stay with. I have a page of wands. I do feel like somebody's coming forward. I always love the little leaves coming off of the page, the sense of growth. I, I feel this person's very strong. They're stronger than you know. They are determined is how it's coming into me. And it's a little bit of their feelings are deeper than you know. Um, so maybe this is somebody that hasn't really shared their feelings. Um, for you, but I do feel like there's a strong, there's stronger feelings than what you think they are is how it's coming into me right now. I have a Knight of Cups. Absolutely. Look at this beautiful, like I'm celebrating. I feel like they're really happy with this, um, this connection or this meeting. They just said meeting of minds, which is interesting too, because that's telling me that you are connecting on a very intellectual level as well. So you could be having beautiful conversations with this person. You could be having in-depth conversations with this person. So a little bit of a intellectual match here that you guys are equals in that sense, which I, I think that's a really important part. I, I feel that you've got to be able to talk to somebody. You've got to be able to communicate with somebody. I have a seven of pentacles. I feel like this person's giving a lot of thought to what would it take for us to be together? And I really could see our, us being together. And it's a little bit of a one step at a time. And we'll just kind of break it down into little pieces and we'll get there. But I, I have a feeling they have deeper feelings um, than you than you know. And maybe they'll catch you off surprise, you know, by surprise that um, that they really have fallen for you or they really have... Um, they really are thinking about what do I do next to capture you? What do I do next to get your attention? Spirit, tell me more. Uh, spreading your wings. It's very similar to the second card I pulled with the uh, cage. Deep need to be free. So it's a second message, very similar. Um, creating a loving home, sharing hidden feelings, trust, vulnerability, and releasing. So that four of pentacles was a sense of, I've got to let down my guard. I, I've got to learn to realize that um, it's up to me to feel secure. It's up to me to feel um, financially secure. Know that you can take care of yourself. Know that you are capable and, and able to. And then this feeling of trust. Uh, I, you know, I know you believe in yourself and I know that you are capable. But sometimes we have that self doubt that comes in. And we get very vulnerable at times. We worry about, you know, where am I going to be in the future? How am I going to afford retirement? 
Um, who's going to take care of me if anything happens? So we become very vulnerable, anybody, uh, masculine or feminine energy. But it is a sense of sometimes, you know, fear of the unknown and fear of security. Financial security can be paralyzing to people. So if that's something that you struggle with, just know that spirit always wants you to land on your feet and this sense of trust, you know, uh, that you're going to be okay. I have a whist away. Navigating life's journey, things moving quickly, bumps in the road. There's the trust in feeling insecure. Just get in the carriage is how it's coming into me. Like get ready for the get ready for the carriage ride. You know, let's see where it takes you. And you know, it feels magical and whimsical to me. It feels um, there, there's something very special about this connection. I, I just for maybe for the for once in your life, you you let your guard down and you do things that are outside of your comfort zone, or you are stepping out of the box with this person, and they say, "Hey, let's go do this," and you're like, "I've never done that before," um, but you know what? I'm with you. I'm, I feel safe. I feel secure. Yeah, let's go do it. So maybe this person pushes you. That would be exciting. I have sweet moments, beautiful, frosting, but no cake, laps up your affection, not totally fulfilling, share, indulgent, and fluff. So we want we want both. We want the frosting and we want the cake. Um, it could be a little bit of a feeling of this is too good to be true. It's just this person's love bombing me. I want to make sure that this person isn't just trying to seduce me with kind words. So you know, that's that's a little bit of a red flag coming into me. So if you do have somebody that is just saying all the right things and they're just perfect all the time um, and maybe they're saying them just to seduce you, you, you want to be careful with that as well. But right now you want you want uh, both you want the cupcake and you want the frosting so we don't want just the frosting all right let's see golden shallows swimming in circles maybe lacking depth reflecting love's beauty making waves deeper and shiny so swimming in circles uh boy that's a big one that's coming in as this feeling of somebody's wasting my time Somebody is spinning my wheels. Somebody is um, going around and around me, but really isn't ever diving in. And I don't want to just keep going round and round with somebody. I want to, um, you know, start this journey. And this page of wands had said to me this feeling of I have deeper feelings than you know, but they could be circling around you and and they're not making their move. And, you know, you're ready. I need them to be ready to make their move. Um, how long is it going to take? Um, you know, that that's, that's something coming into me. Maybe somebody's just been giving you lots of attention, text messages, talking, uh, flirting, but they're not pulling the trigger. They're not saying, hey, let's go, let's go do something, let's go on a real date, let's hang out, something like that. So don't waste your time with somebody that is spinning your wheel, spending, they're in a, they've created a uh, text message relationship, and they think you're in some kind of the start of some kind of relationship. You're not in a relationship until you're seeing that person eye to eye, you're hearing their, their voice, you're looking at each other, you're spending time together in public, you are connecting as two human beings need to. Otherwise, you're pen pals. So be really, really careful that somebody isn't draining you emotionally and spinning your wheels um, in this kind of virtual relationship. Um, it's a good way to start, but the reason why you want to connect to somebody like that is just for uh, the purposes of making plans making plans to see each other, not we're in a six month relationship of text messages. So be really, really careful with those types of connections. Love unabashedly. Okay. Love unabashedly. 
I'm just going to say love with all your heart. <laughs> of course you are. I like this little sun face. That's jumping out at me, the sense of a new beginning. I, I like that. Risk and dare. It is a risk to open your heart again. It is a risk to step into any relationship. And we talk about that. If we don't take the risk, we don't get the joy of the relationship either. So we want to love with all our heart and we want to guard ourselves to a certain point, but we also want to be available to that person so that we, we get the joy out of it. We want to know where's our heart going to go. Offer up gratitude, being grateful, of course, being grateful. We are a grateful spirit. We're, we're very grateful. Let's see what other cards they have for you today. So, Spirit, tell me about this magical and whimsical feeling that I had a moment ago. I want to go back to that. Let's see. Magical and whimsical. It was almost this feeling of stepping out of your comfort zone, stepping out of the box, this person takes your hand and drags you along somewhere to do something that you've never done, but you have a blast. Um, I can't even think of an example. Uh, the only thing I can came to my mind is this is going to sound crazy, but you know, the, you go to the places that have the um, axe throwing, A X E, axe, you throw the axe at the target. <laughs> People have fun doing that. I, I haven't done it, but. People say they have a blast doing them like that is way outside of my comfort zone. But maybe I would have a good time. Maybe I would, you know, enjoy doing something like that. That's the that's the example I can come up with. I, I could probably if I had more time, think of other examples. But that's what that's what came into my head. I have an eight of cups. I have an eight of cups. I, I feel like I'm, I am moving forward. I do feel like I'm leaving some feelings behind me. I will say that. I have a three of pentacles. I have a four of wands. Look at this gorgeous card. Look at this gorgeous energy coming into you, a celebration, a commitment. Um, they just said to me a knowing. Okay, I'll take a knowing. Maybe this emperor comes into our life and we have this almost inner knowing that happens that I know this person is going to be my person. Now, this shield is jumping out at me, this feeling of a shield. Um, they could be shielding themselves as well. But within that shield, I see the tree. And I also see an intuitive eye. So I also feel that within this Within the shield underneath is this, I want to put down roots and intuitively I feel connected to you. So, okay, so you've got somebody who maybe your first impression of them is, oh boy, I'm going to have a hard time breaking through or this person has some, some real wounds, but uh, it could be just like a persona that they just are kind of um, not letting you in initially until they know for sure, but their feelings are deeper than, than they're showing. So uh, I'm surprised that they would still have a shield. They're trying to capture you in some way. So, but you know, it depends on their wounds. It depends on their background. I have a lover's card. How beautiful. This, I really feel like it is a sense of, I see you clearly today. I, I see that there's something in you that is, um, there's more than what I expected or my feelings for you are deeper than I thought. So there's something with that going on. I have a death card. So Spirit, can I have clarification on that death card for a moment? I have a fool. There's my new beginning. And I have a king of cups. Spirit is taking something or has taken something away for, from you in order for you to find this love. So no doubt in my mind, this is a classic example of something ends because spirit has something better for you. It's you're ready to start this new journey with this gorgeous soulmate and this gorgeous unconditional love. So how do we say no to that? But for every ending, there's a new beginning. And, and it's very much that feeling of, I, I don't know what's on the other side and I'm afraid of what's on the other side. But if spirit's telling you on the other side is this loving journey um, and this beautiful crown, look at this beautiful crown, that that's gonna treat you like 
royalty. It's hard to say no to this. And they started this reading with, uh, this is a great big love. <laughs> this isn't a little love. This is a big heart, big, big heart, big love, big soul. And this is something we're going to get our arms around, Spirit just said. Thank you, Spirit. Let's see what else they want us to know. Loving messages, final messages, Spirit, please. Let's see what they say. I have have faith. Look for the tulips. Maybe that's a time, April. Maybe they're giving me that. They're saying within six months, that was a jumper. Okay, I'll take I'll take that as well. Whoa, I've got some jumpers happening. Hold on. This is a past life connection. So we could be soulmates and separation, finding each other in this lifetime. And oh, I got some big jumpers in this deck. Angels are protecting this connection. Thank you, spirit. I like the love. I like the dove. Uh, the dove coming in, gorgeous. And let's get one more. And I have pure contentment. Look for the hummingbirds, okay? Pure contentment. I I feel like spirit is saying somebody is somebody is coming into your life after an ending but it's it's meant to be it, it's one of it's really crystal clear to me today that they had something better for you somebody who's going to treat treat you like royalty and make it feel magical make it feel like this we're this is all a fantasy and it's so amazing so we want that. We believe in that. <laughs> we know we live in the real world also, and everything isn't perfect, but you know, there's always a part of us that has that. But I want it to be magical. I want it to be fun. I want it to be exciting. And you do deserve that. So don't wish that away um, because the real world catches up to all of us. So we want to look for that that new beginning, that at least in the beginning, it feels amazing and it feels magical. And hopefully we can keep that feeling to last forever. So we're going to look forward to this great big love today. I want to thank Spirit for this reading. I want to thank you all for being here. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you all for your kind words and your comments. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please check out my website at kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.